Okay, it's day two. Uh, the um, day one experience was was all right. Uh, this is uh, the situation. The first 24 hours is an inflammatory process. That's where you have cytokines and you have a, a number of algogenic mediators of pain, prostaglandins, leukotrienes, I'm kind of the same, uh, a number of um, these algogenic mediators of pain that um, say, ouch, remember, there's acute pain, chronic pain. And chronic pain can happen acutely, and acute pain can happen chronically. And bone break, bone hurt, we've already established that. And so this is my experience. First uh, 24 hours, um, you are in a, a position where it's either um, you've got help or you don't have help. And so many people with chronic pain, they don't have a lot of help. But I had a lot of help. I've been uh, fortunate to be with uh, my gal over 40 years, and she helped me <laughs> uh, with getting the shirt on and off, which is, I guess, no easy task when you got a broken humerus right there and um, went out, got me the chair that I have to sit up in, in bed, because we need the shoulder to dangle. And I then had to put this prop in the sling to keep it dangling more. See, I'm compliant. All right, the other thing is, how do you scratch your back? Who's the worst drummer you know? Me. Who's got a bunch of drumsticks? Me. Who has the end of a drumstick nibbled off um, from said dog? Uh, and that would be me. Okay, so I told you yesterday about adjuncts. I don't want to just keep taking uh, traditional uh, pain medicines, oxycodone, I love you, oxycodone, I hate you, here. So I've been nibbling off corners and adding acetaminophen and anti-inflammatory medicine. People say, well, you know, I just take a bunch of anti-inflammatory medicine. What is that? Well, what that is, is it's a pretty potent analgesic, but more importantly, it can decrease some of the inflammatory mediators, those algogenic mediators of pain. So that's the first 24 hours. The other part of the 24 hours is the edema. People say heat, cold, heat, cold. I, I've done neither. I've been through a lot of um, personal injuries and a lot of uh, injuries where I uh, have tried to help patients figure it out. And that's, that's the question of the day. Is it heat or is it cold? I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it has a physiologic process. It can work one way or the other. And it's a good physical therapy question because guess what's in my future? Physical therapy. And I'll be compliant. It's gonna be walking up, walking down. It's gonna be range of motion. I'm looking forward to that one. But right now, Im immobilization. Wait till I see the orthopedist. Now, Here's a slick one. If you can get your hands on these lidocaine patches, and this is a brand name. It's a ZT Lido. I like it. Um, I don't have any financial interest at all, but I like this one because it's so efficient. I just, I like it. There's others out there, and there's topical creams. Um, you know, pick what you'd like, but it decreases how much pain meds you need. Now, the muscle relax I told you about, Wow, that one, um, it, it's pretty good, but it made me pretty sleepy. So today is Sunday, day two, and I gotta go to work. I gotta go to work tomorrow. I told you I had a uh, 
a health care provider under me out and I've got to cover her. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to look at it like an airline pilot. I can't be taking uh, meds that have a, uh, I'll say it, a supplemental effect on sensorium, uh, even though in reality there are situations that uh, those in sensitive positions can take pain meds and the like. Opioids really probably don't change uh, what's going on up here in cognitive thinking and decision making. But the point is, you, re you really should take a trucker or a police officer or a fireman. I'm not picking on anybody in particular. But somebody in a, a position of potential risk to harm in, and do a, um, a special psychological test, uh, a performance test. And um, I, I don't think I need it. I just won't take it. I've got NSAIDs. They shouldn't do this. And I've got the topical. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to treat it like an airline pilot. So this is, this is the other thing. I make notes. I usually don't. But I don't want to miss anything here. Um, uh, I have to start an IV tomorrow, and I have to do procedures. Um, certain procedures, you're going like, who would want to do a procedure with you? Well, certain procedures I can do that are what I think of extraordinarily low risk. I'm, I'm not going to do anything to somebody and set them back. I'm, going to do trigger point injections. I'm not going to be around vital structures. Now, I'm going to do things that I think are important uh, for patients' well-being, and I'm going to be there. And uh, I'll, I'll do fine. I'll keep you updated. But the important thing about an acute injury is the more you do, the more you can do. Keep moving. Um, if your health care provider says it's okay or case of uh, any injury, you need to run it by health care providers, make sure it's correct. But uh, in this particular case, the mobilization is here. Keeping the splint next to my arm is here. Keeping my little uh, friend in here to keep my arm pulled down. And I even got to do it at night. You know, God bless Kathy. She went out and she got me. <laughs> Probably the most important thing in the morning um, is snaps. And you will see uh, beyond the Hawaiian shirt tonight, uh, probably tomorrow, that she got me a chef's shirt. Pretty clever, huh? So I'm going to have something to snap. I'll be able to get that on. And, you know, think of things like that. If you get injured, if you have a loved one that's injured, or even people you don't love, um, get them something that uh, keeps them functional. I think that's a, a good place to stop. So that's day two. Uh, get ready for day three. Day three is where you plan ahead. This is a process, and don't say I can't, I can't because if you say I can't, you won't. And uh, I think the more you can do, you will do. And that's a process of healing, but you gotta be compliant. Under, under the direction of somebody that's uh, been there, around the block, and understands how important it is to um, keep a positive direction in this old, ridiculous assumption, no pain, no gain. We're done with that uh, in contemporary medicine. We're also uh, done with the fact, uh, I'll just tough it out. We're also done with the fact that, well, I, I, need, I need some more pain meds. I can't do anything. I can't get out of the bed. Uh, no, listen, the, the key to you is being you pre-injury and then we're going to go on to this post-injury phase because remember acute pain can become chronic and we're not going to let that happen. See you tomorrow.